BuzzFeed has released a 15 examples of toxic femininity and they put it out to the listeners. They put it out to the writers and they've curated what, you know, BuzzFeed is officially subscribed to the idea that boys weren't the problem no, and toxic it, femininity is in fact like Scooby-Doo. It's been women all along. <laughs> but obviously, as you can imagine, BuzzFeed's uh, women are toxic is all basically like all toxic women is when you're not, you know, following the agenda. Yeah. So the first one is women who slut shame, period. A women who slut shame, period, is always a funny one because it's like, <clears throat> it, it, I have a feeling that a lot of these are going to be the idea of anyone, anyone who says anything I do is bad. So here's uh, examples of toxic women or any woman who tells me anything that I'm doing isn't good. Mm -hmm. That's going to be the gist of it. But with the slut shaming, it's like, listen, if you're happy, you're happy. But if a girl's sleeping with 85 dudes and she's depressed, you got to enable her. If your therapist says, hey, it's maybe it's possible. Maybe it's possible that you banging, you know, the entire fucking hockey squad <laughs> didn't yeah. make you feel better. No. And then doing it a second time didn't make you feel better either. If if is that possible? And then you go. Toxic. Toxic. Number nine is my oh, favorite, by the way. Dill baby, you so toxic. <laughs> Isn't that Britney Spears? Sure. Number two is making fun of your female friends to try to get attention. Also just picking on and gossiping about other women. Literally being a guy. Yeah. Unfortunately, I've worked with a few women like this. Also, this uh, article that they're writing is literally 15 women gossiping about I know. women they call toxic. <laughs> <laughs> you know who's fucking toxic? And they're, they're literally gossiping about those people and picking on them. So you go, well, okay, so let's say we agree with this list where we go, okay, some of these women are toxic. This woman who slut shames toxic. What should we do with her? And they're like, wow, we should ruin her fucking life. <laughs> That's what we should do with her. So does that make you toxic? No. No, you're fucking toxic. I'm not toxic. You're toxic. But you are right. So all... When it's like, yeah, making fun of your female friends to try to get male attention, that's all women mm -hmm. who yeah. try to get female attention. And they're doing it now. Number three, toxic femininity is, to me, is when women shame men for being too soft or adhering to their limited ideas of masculinity. So any girl that doesn't subscribe to exactly how this girl thinks is yeah. toxic. If you are shaming a man because your fucking husband walked in there cried his eyes out i mean for sure if you're like the girl that's like you need to be in a fucking fight you know a million fights or whatever <laughs> totally but if you go the other way and you go what if uh so it, it's toxic femininity is when women shame men for being too soft well what if they shame them for being too hard and they would probably be like well that's good think but, about that though yeah so she says it's toxic well, we're kind of hard but my, I think my thesis is going to be uh, uh, with a lot of this stuff is like, obviously what she means is you can shame if it fits her ideology. Yeah, of course. But you go, so why would it be okay to shame men for being too hard? Like if you, if you said a toxic man, for example, would be a, someone that's like, you know, getting in fights and stuff like that. And that's how he wants to live his life. So can you shame him? Fuck yeah. Yes. But if you say he's too soft. Yeah, you go, yo. And also the thing goes, I dated a short man for many years and women would say like, imagine like, I mean, well, read that. what did she say? She goes, I dated a very short man for many years and women would say the snarkiest things to me. They judge me for dating a man that wasn't bigger than me because that's what a real man is supposed to look. Imagine just like your friends, you go, yo, he's a little shorter than you, you should break up. <laughs> what? Yeah. You go, that's a little toxic. Yeah. That's, you know, a real toxic femininity is I mean, it's the equivalent of like some fucking your boys being like, yo, your girl's uh, put on like 10. You should maybe break up with her. You go, mm -hmm. I don't know if that's really... Yeah, I don't think anyone's going to be saying that. No. What they might say is like, if they've, you know, if they're at a bar and it's like, I'm thinking about talking to that guy. Yeah. But anyone, once you're sort of like dating, no one's going to have the fucking psych cajones to do that sort mm. of stuff. But all this stuff, when they say toxic, what they really mean is like any ideological drift. Yes. <laughs> but... Um, anyone who does not agree with me. Probably... What the actual toxic femininity is, you know not cooking for example mm -hmm. uh, what, what would be real toxic femininity messages you a hundred times a day bad at laundry bad at laundry but the real probably the most toxic thing a girl can be is not happy mm -hmm. constantly oh that's so that's if you have a girl that's just like never happy no matter what 
and then blames it on you when it's always actually like her situation. Yeah. Like if you're dating a girl that's not happy with her work and I'm your friends and it's always like, well, maybe if you did this and maybe if you hung out with me more and blah, blah, you go, this isn't about me. No, but, but I don't think, but it's an easy way to kind of deflect more toxic stuff. I hate when women tear other women down for doing girly things. Some women do that. I'm not like other girls thing to extreme. So if you do like makeup or nails, you're automatically beneath women who choose not to because they're all past that. It's like fucking 2% of women who are like not into that shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, oh yeah, yeah. The tiny fucking minority is like, this is all different people and they all conflict too. Cause I know. literally one of them goes, uh, when you tear down girls for being girly, it's toxic. And then it's like, the other one's like, when girls need you to be girly, it's toxic. Uh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> everything's toxic it's also with this stuff it's like this is like the optimist prime of a woman right here every yeah. woman in here it just makes up <laughs> yeah, one super woman who's just like everything they say conflicts with everything else and they're just fucking like up here or one moment down here or one yeah. moment they're just so many of these conflict with each other <laughs> one girl literally says i hate when girls tear down women for being girly and the other girls when when you tear me basically the idea is like nothing's good or bad yeah number four toxic my grandma keeps telling me to lose weight and go on these diets and wonders why i don't visit <laughs> toxic grandma <laughs> uh you think your grandma's like really like she walks in and she goes what's up fatso hey fatty oh look who it is are you sure oh let's get the loading <laughs> she walks into her grandma's house for her birthday she goes beep beep <laughs> beep let's get the loading dock out here <laughs> hey can you unlock the loading dock What's up, Gates. Samantha? Oh, uh, you didn't I didn't forgot you were coming. I guess get a couple more plates. <laughs> <laughs> Fitness instructors, toxic. You know what the there is this funny thing was like, you know, because to me, if I was honest to God, if you were looking at let's say you're dating a girl, who's more toxic? The girl that calls you fat or the girl like with the, you know, goes to college, head shaved sides, like scolding you every two seconds. Mm -hmm. That is clearly the toxic woman. Oh, by far. Taking more. people down, I mean, ruining the, people's lives. That's, yeah. the you're the, that's the toxic The grandmother's person. literally like, she might be a dick about it, but she just wants you to be healthy. Yeah, I mean, if your grandma's calling you fat all the time, that's toxic, but there is a cultural thing where it's like, it's, it's that's just a, a cult, like a, it's if you're having an Italian grandma, she might be telling the opposite, which yeah. I think one of the things was people yeah, to tell you're too skinny, tell, yeah, tell <laughs> telling you too go, fat. You gotta eat more. Telling you're too fat's toxic. Telling you you're too skinny's toxic. It's all toxic. But when these, it, it kind of reminds me of like, so you know how these these people are the toxic ones. Like mm -hmm. in my, that's my second hypothesis. But it it's funny watching like the most toxic people accuse anyone else of being toxic. For example. TMZ does like woke articles now. Really? Like, yeah. So TMZ will, it'll be very like, th they kind of like easing into it, but they'll do a ton of like, you know, Karen being copying racist. And uh -huh. you know, they're, they're all. I love how they went from like literally like posting like fucking upskirt photos of celebrities. <laughs> like, that's what I'm saying. To being like, hey, we're, uh, racism's bad. Well, can you believe the fucking journalists in Hall, like the TMZ paparazzi? having the audacity to be like, we're some sort of moral arbiter in any capacity. These are literally the scum of the earth. Here's a photo of a couple on vacation from behind a tree. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> like, like they're literally hiding under cars. You killed Princess Diana, you pieces of shit. Killing Princess Diana. <laughs> They're, they're one step away from hiding in a porta potty uh, yeah. to get like, a photo of the your under, snatch. Yeah like, <laughs> yeah, like literally getting shit on. They have a fucking like wiper on the lens. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and then coming, you know, crawling up from the porta potty, covered in shit to get their $40 from a photo to like their <laughs> scummy ass website. Oh, and yeah. then having the audacity to be like, men are freaking dogs. Oh, look at this fucking Karen over here. Didn't like her <laughs> latte. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're like dude I th you would break you would break a kid's bones to make $40 with a with a with a photo of that would ruin someone's life these people for years the same magazines that are out here posting the you know even BuzzFeed was into this shit back in the day uh -huh. and they'll post like hey it's toxic to call a girl fat here's five years ago all of the people that fucking work at these places being like so and so is looking fat yeah and yeah. they find a photo of her <laughs> look where she you know stands up weird at the beach yeah totally and she'll be like 70 sometimes <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> 
That's our buddy ad one where they were like, Bette Midler is looking old. And oh, like, yeah, yeah. Ah, she's fucking 70. Yeah, totally. These are the same people that are scolding you. The same people. Like where the money a, is, you know? The same people that in a different culture would be, uh, would they would they would do Honey, I Shrunk Myself to sneak into your butthole. <laughs> These are not people of high morals. And, and then they'd come out and they'd publish a photo of like a little extra poo inside <laughs> George Clooney's rectum. <laughs> yeah, they like get the fucking like, but like a uh, head cam from fucking like the if guy who waxes could. his asshole and they're like. They would. <laughs> They, if they could, they would disguise themselves as an asshole waxer yeah. and then get like, they'd have a photo on their waxing tool totally, so they could sell <laughs> that to the, you know, the top buyer on the fucking internet. And these people, it's the same thing as this person calling anyone toxic. Get a fucking grip. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, it's, that's some gall. She goes, I hate when, you know, okay. So the next one is we won't look all of them, but keeping a spotless house and being judged if you can't. It seems uh, one is a better woman if one is good at cleaning and highly. I mean, obviously, one's preferable it. versus the other. Like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, whatever. You don't. You don't. Nobody's saying like quit your job and focus on keeping the house clean. One is one thing is better than the other thing. Call me fat's toxic. Yeah. Call me a slob. Oh, toxic. I'm sorry. I'm a fucking hoarder who has rats fucking all over the place and <laughs> rat shit everywhere. Dead rats everywhere. I'm sorry. I can't be a fucking perfect woman. <laughs> Shut yeah, up. yeah. So you can't if a spot if you call if you call me a slob, it's toxic. Yeah. Um, if you tell me I'm too clean, also toxic. <laughs> if you tell me I'm too clean, also toxic. I like that Buzzfeed's moved on to girls. For example, yeah, yeah, I'm right. very happy about that. I had a how, uh, how many quote tweets of this article on Twitter that included the hashtag Do Better? Yeah, I think they should do better. Um, okay, my pits are hairy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick of women being disgusted by it. So <laughs> why are all these articles all like 10 reasons if I'm probably you're mean if I'm telling me that I'm disgusting. Okay, listen, if you're a slob in the house, you don't cook, you you don't like to do girly things like, you know, put on makeup or, you know, take care of yourself. You don't like to go to the gym. At least shave your pits. <laughs> I go, listen, if you're super hot, you could probably get away with it a little better. Yeah. He goes. I'm sick of women and men being disgusted by it. Or no, I'm sick of women being disgusted by it. No man has ever disliked or said anything to me about my pits. Not that I care, but women have outright stopped me on the street and asked if I'm uncomfortable, if I smell worse than I did if I have it. Yeah, so no, they didn't. First but. off, you do care. <laughs> Why would you only not care if a man asks you? But yeah. women are just really getting in your craw. Also, there's no <laughs> yeah, yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. <laughs> way that women are stopping you. What are you walking down the street like this? <laughs> yes. And then women stop you, go, hey, uh, excuse me, stranger, is that uncomfortable? <laughs> and do you stink? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, just a quick question because I've been thinking about growing some, pu some yeah. of that puppies for myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, do you stink? Stranger on the street? Like, what? <laughs> I've been thinking about getting a couple of those for myself, <laughs> if you don't mind. Hey, those bushes right there, is those, are those uh, street legal? <laughs> yeah, can, I, can I take a whiff? Can I get in there? I won't get too close. I know there's a pandemic Do and you everything. stink? And by the way, this is another thing where it's like a girl being like, no guy cares that I'm fat. It's like, if you're if you're judging that by they're fucking you. Yeah, totally. I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I fucking uh, let him and his buddy tag team me, so they obviously don't care. You know? <laughs> All right. They don't give a shit. Yeah, they don't care at all. They fucking <laughs> just love me for me. Go, mm -hmm. <laughs> they don't care that I had Harry Pitt. Him and his buddies all fucking. <laughs> they took me down. <laughs> yeah, they ran a train on me, and uh, yeah, they love me for me. Yeah, so they go, uh, having Pitts is toxic. Um, then they go, women telling other women to dumb it down to attract a mate is toxic. Sorry, but someone who prefers to date idiots is likely super toxic and a bigger idiot. So, you know yeah, what? You're a fucking idiot. I'm not. Yeah, yeah. Girls can know it. No, I, I think I know the exact issue that's going on right here. So women often, and this type of woman, will often confuse being opinionated with being smart. Mm -hmm. So like, do you know what I mean? They'll... They they think they're being told to like dumb it down, but it's like on either gender. If you start a fucking date and like one minute in, you're like, and the thing about this, and the oh, thing yeah, about yeah. this, and the thing about this, and then and then you're like, you're being a little, you know, just take it down a lot. She's like, just because I'm smart. You go. You don't need an opinion on every single. thing. And you know what? Men are bad at that too, for sure. But I, you know, I think that 
uh, it's not. We wouldn't say it's toxic to tell us. No, to it's stop. not toxic. You're like, you're just, <laughs> to tell you, us no, to for stop. a guy, you go, this guy's a fucking asshole. You literally whatever you say, <laughs> I'm not. Gonna say something. And I listen. I told. I've said this. I've had many times where I fucking. I'm like, was on a date and I get in arguments because I'm fucking opinionated and I'm mm-hmm. getting to these things and blah, blah. But I don't walk away with any confusion about what just happened. <laughs> very aware. You go, I, Ryan goes, yeah, I won that one. <laughs> no, I literally get a crossroads. Yeah. I get, you get, you're at the girl's house. Like I've had that many times where you're like, you're literally with a girl at her house and you're about to argue and you're starting to argue and she's like, you're being a dick right now and she's about, and you're like, and this and that and, blah, and you're like, I could stop right now and have sex. And yeah. I go, well, the thing is. Yeah, you go, well, but the thing about critical race theory is, and she goes, all right, I'm going to go to Ben. I go, well, if you actually look oh, about yeah. it, it's mathematical statistics. Yeah, yeah. You just become full on Ben Shapiro. You go, hey. well, It doesn't need, no, you won't even be arguing about that. Yeah, yeah. We'll be no, arguing not about, about ben like, Shapiro. whether become, the waiter was annoying. No, I'm saying you become him in terms oh, of like, yeah, the you, debate. No, you, know? you do become him because you become, I see what you're saying. Like, you lose yeah. your ability to be social. Whereas most people. But you're, you're just ruining, like, I got to take down this debate right, right. now. Right. Whereas, like, yeah, yeah, the idea is like you're ruining dinner yeah you're like trying to pwn a girl you're on a date with <laughs> yeah yeah no like, but sometimes it's just like you, i think it's not that i'm trying to pwn her it's that i like maybe fi- i'm like enjoying myself yeah yeah sometimes that's fun too or maybe it's just that trying I to intellectually dominate her no you're not missing that. you're missing it you just, <laughs> no. you just like the sport it's the sport yeah yeah i'm doing that you know what i'm honestly doing treat doing the exact same thing i would be doing if i was hanging out with a guy yeah that's legitimately what I actually. I mean, have literally to one which of the biggest. Which they hate. Yes, <laughs> there's been so many things we see, and then you go, you just look at it, and it's like it's some sort of gripe, and you go, oh yeah, yeah, it's because uh, a guy tried to treat a woman like a guy because right. women were like treat us like the guys, and then and then at first we were like, I don't think you want that, and you go, no, no, really do that, and then yeah, don't do that, right? Yeah. So what? That that's exactly what I do, but I don't walk away from that being like I was right. I walked away <laughs> from that being like. Yeah, yeah, I went for it. Yeah, hey, Ryan, <laughs> you couldn't get out of your way again, huh? <laughs> <laughs> couldn't get out of your own way. <laughs> I, I go, I actually fucking hate pussy anyway. Yeah, fucking <laughs> pussy's gay. <laughs> I, didn't even, I didn't even want to have sex there, dude. <laughs> uh, the next one is telling another woman that needs meat on her bones, also toxic. Uh, so if you say she's too not curvy enough, toxic, too curvy is toxic. So she said toxic femininity equals being a Karen, which is the same thing they always do where it's like make a group that you're not supposed to be. Number two, put everyone in that group. <laughs> Karen, not be. So they know they go, you're being a Karen. They go, oh, I'm not a Karen. So um, when brides pull the this is my day card or make ridiculous demands of those being around them because it's a day that they quote unquote dreamed of since they were six. <laughs> So, and then they go, there are two, pe- two of you getting married and your friends and family are happy to support and committed, blah, 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 but bridezilla, this and that, you go, oh, yeah. so it's toxic. Yeah. Girls are annoying on their wedding, but like, there are not two people getting married. No. Like I've if- known some where the guy's really into it actually, but not really. Rare, yeah. If- you know, I do that. Like, yeah, my friend Aubrey was really into it. He was like really into it. Planning it and stuff. Oh yeah. Like what? They had fucking fireworks, and I don't know. He just right. was like, this he is wanted to, he wanted to flex with the wedding, kind of. Yeah, that's what it. That's the kind of interesting. Yeah. It's like, well, I think statistically, it's probably fair to say that the girl cares more, and so oh, no her, question, right? Zero question. Um, oh, what was I gonna say that? Uh, I love how they don't number. This doesn't end with yeah, and half of these are fucking ending in divorce too. And you and she goes. Uh, I, I now I need to cut my hair, spend a mil, minimum of five hundred dollars on a gift. Social demands don't have to be such a burden. So being a turf, that's another one. So yeah, that, that one I have to agree with because I fucking hate turfs. <laughs> Danny was saying that before the episode started. That his <sighs> turfs are his least favorite thing in the world. Hate turfs. Um, I work with a lot of eighteen to twenty-five year old women. They often um, in the break time chat is about weight, makeup, hair, beauty. So it's mind-numbingly boring. You don't. Yeah, you don't <laughs> say. <laughs> I told you. This is where I'm like, they're for the boys. Yeah. This is a quote. 
Never thought I'd see the day yeah. that I was reading BuzzFeed. This, this based BuzzFeed right here. Based people were, BuzzFeed. People were like, bring it up, bring back base Fauci. Fauci got, just started writing for BuzzFeed. I know, Fauci is fucking the first article for BuzzFeed, Dr. Fauci being like, aren't women fucking who just drone on about bullshit annoying? You go, base Fauci? She says, I work with quite a lot of 18 to 25 year old women. Often the break time chat is almost solely focused on weight, makeup, hair, beauty treatments, etc. It's mind numbingly boring. <laughs> Bellish feed for the boys. <laughs> By the way, it's a thousand times better than talking about turfs. I know. <laughs> I, I would way rather be talking about their fucking yeah. makeup. Th- this and is th- yeah. This is like the the lunch room at like maybe like a restaurant or something, and then like but at like Google the lunch rooms all just turf this turf that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The cafeterias. Is but also they turf. said you know the girls who uh, talked the girls who don't that uh, don't that shame they're oh, sorry four or five ago it was. Anyone who shames people for talking about hair and makeup. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know. Literally. And then, and then now we're like, fucking women talking, about, women hair talking about hair and makeup too much. So anyways, uh, and then the last one was that she doesn't wax and people made fun of her that she doesn't wax her fucking bush. Yeah. So <laughs> two out of 14 of them are fucking, when people get mad that I have a bush. <laughs> I mean, a lot of people just say. Glycerine. <laughs> That's no, what I do. No, no, when I bring it, when I bring a, if I have a girl. Uh-huh. This has uh, always been my thing since the since the early '90s. I said, whenever you have sex with a girl and she has a bush, as soon as you pull down the pants, you say, "Could have been easier <laughs> on me, 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 <laughs> glycerine." She goes, "What's that?" I go, "Oh, it's just a bush, bush." <laughs> Got a machine hair. <laughs> you, you hum that to yourself while you're having sex with a girl that has a bush. You go. That's actually a <laughs> seduction <laughs> tip. <laughs> is if you're eating out a girl with. A big bush, hum glycerine. It makes it go <laughs> wild. <laughs> <laughs> or even better is you're doing a girl with a bush and you go, swallowed. <laughs> swallowed. Happy about everything but my love. Swallowed. So that's, that's a tip for, that's a one. for the bush that's fans out there. And saying I'm not like other girls and just bringing down women unnecessarily. So yeah. BuzzFeed for did the boys. You, by the way, did you uh, peep the comments on the article? Because the number one comment was what was very good. It's from Sylvia Plastered. Might be a troll. I'll always tell me. She said the bush. She goes uh, no, no, no. She goes thing. a lot of these are just examples of internalized misogyny or otherwise behavior produced by slash reacting to the patriarchy. So they need a you 16. don't need to make up terms like toxic femininity. Basically, men's fault. Oh, she's like she. She goes. Like she goes. It. Yo, women are not responsible for any of this. Right. Stuff. It's kind There's of, no <laughs> such thing as toxic. It's like when white supremacy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's the, literally the white supremacy is the root of all like POC on POC crime. Yeah. It's still white supremacy. Like literally, she just says that's the playbook. That's great. Number one comment. She goes. We already have a term for all this. Is toxic masculine. Isn't it? Yeah. I thought that I thought you were going to say a that. couple other people say, yeah, the term toxic femininity shifts the blame away from the true culprit, the patriarchy. Women get blamed. For, <laughs> it's always the enough. true culprit. Yeah, it's easy, you know. Ah, fuck. So it turns out it was. And there's a lot of people saying it. So here's another one. These are all just examples people aren't of, happy with this of article. <laughs> women enforcing the existing patriarchy. LOL. What the fuck? <laughs> toxic femininity is not a thing. Stop. So basically, you know, they went against their audience yeah. to see like, hey, I wonder we're going to like A, B test to see if this is going to work. <laughs> and and they like go, it. yeah, it did not work out there. <laughs> Well, then I'll tell you who did like it, us. Us, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, then you know what they need is number 17 that's uh, writing a BuzzFeed article about toxic femininity. Is toxic. There's like literally 20, ar- 20 comments who are all just saying, yeah, toxic femininity does not exist. This is all just the patriarchy. Fuck. Internalized misogyny. Well, I guess it should have just been one one thing that's toxic femininity, the patriarchy. Yeah, the you patriarchy. heard of it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you ever heard of it? 